New York Young Americans for Freedom applaud wholeheartedly the recent effort made to free American prisoners of war in North Vietnam. This gallant venture deep into enemy territory, while unsuccessful in the actual release of prisoners, merits the highest praise for the selflessness, selflessness of the volunteers, their exceptional valor, and their unquestioned professionalism. President Nixon, Secretary Laird, and all others instrumental in the initiation and execution of the mission are to be congratulated for their courageous and forthright effort to free Americans languishing in the barbarous prisons of North Vietnam. It is indeed unfortunate that such a desperate measure was necessary in order to try to save the lives of American prisoners. However, the plain fact that Americans are dying in communist prisons, six more in this past month alone, surely necessitated the risk of such an operation. The world has seldom seen such an inhumane treatment of the prisoners, and Young Americans for Freedom is highly indignant that the plight of these brave Americans has consistently received so little attention from uh, our own countrymen. The newsprint and the airways have been inundated with these various accounts of, in the last several years of American shortcomings, of alleged American atrocities, and with the fumigations of radical revolutionaries constantly crying for the destruction of our society. During that same time, the plight of those Americans who are now suffering horribly for having defended this free society is all but ignored. The Young Americans for Freedom are determined to launch an all-out effort to keep the picture of American prisoners of war suffering and dying in communist dungeons constantly before the public until that day when they're at last freed. Americans for Freedom totally supports any and all enterprises aimed at the release of American prisoners in North Vietnam and in fact urge very strongly that further efforts be made as soon as possible. We can have few higher priorities in Vietnam than the freedom of American prisoners. That these brave men be returned to their loving families should be of immediate concern to all Americans.